Hey guys, uh, I'm hopping on to answer a question that we got through uh, that I think is going to be helpful for a lot of you. So the question is, what do I do if all of my clients want all of the work done at the exact same time? If they all say, oh my gosh, we need it, I don't know, next Monday or, or whatever. What do you do in that scenario? So the good news is, uh, first of all, that the chances of that happening are really, really slim. Um, second of all, uh, I'm sorry if you can hear the noise in the background, they're doing work to the boiler out uh, in my building. But um, first of all, the chances of that happening, all of your clients coming together and saying, I need this on that date, uh, is very, very slim. But second to that, um, the don't forget that the due dates of projects are collaborative with you and your client. Um, so you know, it's, it's not a matter of your client coming to you and saying, you must have it done in this state. You know, it's a little bit different from the way it was when you worked uh, on staff somewhere, right? Where your boss says, I need this on this date. And you go, okay, I'm going to figure out how to make that work. Um, when you're working with clients, you are collaborating to figure out what the due date will be. You know, your client can say, oh, I'd love to have this on this certain date, or I'd love to have this at a certain time. But it's really up to you whether or not that works with your schedule. And there have been times that I have, and certainly probably every other copywriter, uh, has talked to the client and they say, well, I need it on this date. And you say, you know, unfortunately, um, I don't have enough room in my schedule to guarantee that I can get it to you on that date. I'll try, but I can absolutely be sure that I'll have it to you by whatever date that is. Um, you are always working with your client, collaborating with your client. So even if you had five client calls in one day, um, and even if the, the desired date of all those clients was to get it, you know, two weeks from Monday or something like that, um, after you have that first one or two calls where you say, yeah, I can get that to you two weeks from Monday, when you have that third or fourth call, when you have that third call, when they say, I want it two weeks from Monday, you can say, well, you know, um, I have some other projects that are coming up around that time. I can absolutely try to get it to you by then, but the date I can guarantee it is this date. Does that work for you? And then same thing with the next calls after that. Um, and frankly, you don't even have to say, I can try to get it to you by that date. You can always um, over deliver if you are able to get it to them sooner. Um, but you know, if a client says, I need it on Monday of, of two weeks from now, you can say, you know, unfortunately, my schedule is very busy right now and I can't get it to you for that date, but I could get it to you for this date. Is that possible? Um, and you will find more often than not that even the clients were like, I need it by this time. It's absolutely essential that when you actually say, um, that's when you actually say, uh, I can't get it to you at that date. Unfortunately, um, my schedule is very busy and I can't get it to you for that date, but I can get it to you for another date. Even the clients who are like, oh my God, I absolutely have to have it by this time. Often they'll say, mm, okay, yeah, we, we can do that. Um, so there's always room for collaboration. There's always room for working with your clients. And frankly, there may be a time when you're so busy and a client absolutely has to have it on that date that you have to say, I'm sorry, I just I can't make this work in my schedule for you. Um, and then that project is just not gonna work. But the good news is, is there are so many clients out there in the world and so many opportunities uh, that you don't really have to worry about missing one or two projects. And like I said, I have to say that the the times that I've said, unfortunately, I just I if that's the date, I just, I can't do that for you. Um, almost, I think probably almost every single time the client has come back to me, you know, a day or two later and said, oh, okay, so we've relooked at our schedule and um, we can do it on the day that you can do it after all. Uh, so even sometimes when you say no to a client, it's not, uh, it's not a complete no, it's not the end of the story. Or even when the client says no to you, it's not necessarily the end of the story. Um, it's all about, it's all about collaborating. So, um, Zoe says, it's like dating, don't seem too available. Yeah, right? Don't seem uh, de desperate. Yes, please, let me do the work. Um, but really, it is all about your your schedule and what you are able to accommodate. And yeah, it's sometimes it's really hard to say no to projects. I'm certainly guilty of that. I've done, I, I've taken on too much and had to cancel plans with friends or had to stay up late or get up really early to get stuff done on deadline because as we know, deadlines are sacred. We never break a deadline. Um, but 
it really is about you figuring out what you can accommodate in your schedule. So I hope that if you want to be full-time freelance or if you want to be doing um, freelance copywriting uh, part-time, whether you want to do it evenings and weekends or whether you just plan to do it part-time in general, um, I hope that this eases your mind a little bit. If you're worried about pitching and you're worried that all of these clients are going to come back to you and want want you all at once and want you to do all the projects all at once, um, it's not really something you have to worry about. It's all about collaborating and it's all really about looking at your schedule and balancing it out and figuring out what you can accommodate for your clients.